Timeline proxy mode and proxy media, while they are both aimed at enhancing playback performance, are actually two distinct features in DaVinci Resolve. So in this video, let's understand both and see how they're different. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, have a look at timeline proxy mode first. If ever you have a clip like this that's heavy on the system and you start to experience very choppy playback, there's a very good chance that you can get some help by turning on timeline proxies. So the good news is, first of all, in the ministries of the timeline resolution and the playback resolution are independent. So what that means is that if you were to go to master setting right now and have a look at the timeline resolution, you will see that it is currently 1920 by 1080 HD. So let's go to the playback menu up top and then go to timeline proxy resolution. You will see that you have three options. You can either choose to play back at the current timeline resolution or you can reduce it by half or by a quarter. So for the sake of this example, I'm going to reduce it by a quarter. You will see right away the resolution of all the clips in this timeline are so much lower. Uh, they don't look that great, but you will have no problem uh, playing back this uh, clip smoothly. So this can be especially helpful if you have a timeline uh, where a lot of your clips are very heavy and, and you're experiencing uh, you know, difficulties with smooth playback. And thanks to the resolution independence in DaVinci Resolve, all these clips, when we take them to the deliver page for rendering, all of them will be rendered at the current timeline resolution instead of the much lower uh, playback resolution uh, that we saw earlier. Okay, now another option we have is to create something called proxy media. And to do that, we need to simply right click the clip in the media pool and then in the menu, select generate proxy media. But let me explain what it is first. So a proxy media is basically uh, you telling DaVinci Resolve to go ahead and create a copy of this existing clip on your local machine, uh, but at a different format and a different resolution to help you, uh, you know, speed up your playback performance. Now, the great thing about this is that because you now have additional copy of this clip on your local machine, you can pretty much use this anywhere else. You can use it in another project. You can give it to another user. You can use it in another uh, you know, machine. Uh, so that's one of the best things about Proxy Media is that it is extremely portable. All right, before we go ahead and generate proxy media, there are a couple things we need to do. First of all is we need to go up to the playback menu up top, go to proxy handling, and then make sure that preferred proxies is turned on. What this is going to do is tell DaVinci Resolve to pick to use the proxy media instead of the original media if a proxy is available. You can also see the similar menu in the viewer as well next to PXY. Uh, in the menu, in the drop down menu, just make sure preferred proxies is turned on. All right, now the other thing we need to do is to go to the master setting. And then if we were to scroll down to the optimized media and the render cache section here, you have the ability to choose the proxy media format, uh, change it to something less intense. You can also change the proxy media resolution as well. And uh, if you were to keep going down uh, to the working folders area, you can also choose to save the proxy media to a different uh, folder, different location than what is currently assigned to you by default. But for now, I'm just going to leave it at the current folder. And if I were to come to this folder right now, just to illustrate, you will see that in the proxy media uh, folder right now, there is nothing there because we haven't created any proxy media yet. So let's come back to the master setting. And also for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to change proxy media resolution to something that is much lower. All right, so let's just uh, save this and close the setting. All right, now we're ready to rock and roll. So let's find this clip in the media pool and we're going to right click and in the menu, uh, go ahead and select generate proxy media. You're going to see a little window pop up uh, showing you the percentage of completion here. Uh, and once that's done, you will see that right away, first of all, a couple things. One is that the clip in the media pool and also the clip in the timeline both have this PXY symbol next to uh, next to it at the bottom left corner here. And on top of that, the resolution is automatically changed to the proxy media resolution, which is much lower compared to the original media's resolution. And for the sake of example, I'm just going to uh, go ahead and create a proxy media for a couple other clips 
uh, here in the media pool. And again, they will all look the same. They will all have PXY symbol at the bottom left corner uh, of the clips. And uh, most importantly, when you play it back, uh, you will see that they all play at a much lower resolution, just like how we defined it in the master setting. All right, if we were to now come back to the uh, proxy media folder, and again, you will see that now we will we have all these proxies sitting in the folder and now these clips uh, can be you can either just leave them here or you can now take these clips and use it uh, somewhere else or give it to somewhere else uh, use it on the machine or another project so it's very versatile in that sense and lastly if you want to disable the proxy media you can do that by coming back to the other menu uh, that we saw earlier and simply click disable all proxies this will revert all the clips back to their original clips uh, and now they are playing at a much uh, their original resolution but the issue here is that uh, you know this applies to all the clips in the timeline what if you just want to do that to only one clip well you can come to that particular clip in the media pool right click and then in the menu select on link proxy media now what i will do is to only revert this clip back to the original or what you can do is to go back to the folder on your local machine and then simply delete this uh, proxy and now if you were to go back to the uh, timeline you will see that now it also automatically reverts back to uh, the original all right guys so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed and as always i will see you next time